So you can just start having something in summary of monthly staff meeting, right? And then here you have your points, right? Uh, okay. Right. Uh, See, then just your points here, you can just put in your points for the entire presentation, right? Okay. Uh, um, well, if you don't want the bullet points here, you know, this is how you unselect them. See that? How did you do that? See here, if, if, if click on an area that has a bullet point on a text, and then here, this is under the home ribbon, the home menu, and then here on a paragraph in that ribbon, and then click and just uncheck it if you, yeah, if you shouldn't have any bullet points. See, if you want numbers, here just select the area, the text range, and click on numbers. See that? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, I see, okay. So if I didn't want. This looks a little bit drab. See, if you want to do a little bit more text art, uh, we have a variety of options for text art, such as colors. Here you have, you can adjust font color. If you go, yeah, you can click on that little, do you see that? There's a little, at the bottom, there's a little arrow. This gives you a variety of options but you actually have a lot of options here in the font ribbon. A lot of this you, you don't always that. have to use, yes. but some of it is really nice, so like reflections. Colors. And they give you a few templates in here for reflections. Something like that. Presets. See, so it glows a little bit. You know, you don't have to exaggerate. I mean, that's too much already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just what we see. This is nice. See a little reflection. It's not that. Right, right. Big, I think. Uh, this is just sort of alignment. This is apparently this is this is yeah okay that's what we did. This is here you can fill. Yeah, this is just how to fill it. Uh, you know, fill the actual text, and you have some options there too. You have outlines. See, you can do a lot. See, you can do a lot of stuff. Oh, you didn't even change. It does change the color. The color can be adjusted here. Color, see that? So you may want, if you don't like that color, you just select it. And you just check the uh, gray. Do that. But we have this is a basic way to create a slide. Now, if you want to present your slide here, this is the little. So just click on that, and then you can just navigate from slide. So yeah, you can just navigate from slide to slide. What do I hit though? Yeah, that was that little. Uh, there was a little no, icon. I did, but um, I went to the camera, but this one here, right? Yeah. Do you click or on it? Do I, I do I keep pressing enter for it to go from slide to slide? No, the little arrow to the right. Oh, the arrow. Okay. To this one here. Okay. Yeah, if there's oh. nothing on it. If you have nothing on it, it won't. You know, it won't do it. So you don't have to put something on each slide. Pointers where you can. Uh, and where, where do I find my pointer? If you want to That's stop it. it and show, right? Discard. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So this is pretty good. What you have? Do you, should I share them? Uh, yes. Yeah, just that's just the scene. I'm going to try it and see. Yeah, so that's three. So now, see now, these are all going to be in a sequence, actually, apparently. Updated grievance procedures. And, like I said, um,
Mine, mine didn't give me the numbers. Well, you have to you, you have to be sure to select each one, all right, and then click float in. See that? Oh, I see. I see the numbers. They're there. Yeah. But mine had like they came up together, like one and then two right away. Oh uh, well, that's because you highlighted, selected both at the same time. You know, it's whatever oh. you select. Okay. So you can make a change to that. What if I don't? Oh, okay. I see. If I don't want any of them to float. Then. You can change it too. You know, here you have uh, you can do wheel, but that's really elaborate already. Probably see like that, but you don't. I wouldn't even do that one. That one's kind of. No, 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 no. I would do float in is pretty good. I think. So, yeah, float would work. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Start on click. That's also helpful. Yeah, here you can configure all of that exactly how you want it. See in the animation pane. Oh, okay. So I have to kind of time it to where I want it to start and, and, and the other one to... See, yeah, that's how you do it. See, yeah, yeah, you have to individually select what you want. Huh? That's how you do that. It's here in the, in the animation pane, right? That's, that's how you do it. See, you just click on animation pane. Okay, and so how do I test it now? Do yeah, I? Yeah, it works here, see? The way I did it. Oh, okay. It. Yeah. Yep, you can just start as long as, it's, as long as it is set to start after previous, then it would work. And then just click from slide to slide. Yeah, yeah, that works fine. Okay, let's see. Okay, mine says start on click, and then um, uh, what do I do now? Start on yeah, click. Start on click. Good. Is it, it is set to start after previous two? Oh, I can't. Here. Uh, yeah. See now. Yeah, that little stuff. arrow here at the bottom. What I thought that yeah, if you start. are see that is actually the advantage. Starting from scratch, you do have more options then. The reason why it was blanked out is because we were working with a template, and the template already has its own styles built in. Oh, okay. But if, if, you, uh, you know, if you start from scratch, then it works. If you write HR department, for instance, click styles. See that? You can apply these then. Because that's the advantage if you start from scratch. You, you do have more. More options. Yeah, you have more options. That, well, some templates actually still let you do it. It varies. It varies. It varies. See, a lot of these templates, as the name implies, they're configured a certain way. I mean, these aren't so breathtaking anyway. So these are just sort of color suggestions. Oh, I see. Okay, color yeah. suggests. Okay, yeah, maybe, but that would even, you can apply to the individual slide or to all of them. Let's do apply to all. See now we have see now we have a header here on each side with numbers. So that's uh, it's just a quick way to. How do I put them? If I want them, let's say if I want to put them down at the bottom right. Right. How do I do that? Well, that's more of a footer. If you want it at the bottom, yeah, that's more of a, that's more oh, that's the from slide to slide. Let's see if I put put in. I'm wondering if that's yeah. But it, it's not going to be visible, is it, to anybody? No, not to the not to the presenter in, initially. Not to the not to the uh, presenter. That would then be visible to you mainly. Time and time. So if you want that, also slide number is important. Right. Go on title slide. So you know you can figure even if you want it even on the title slide, but it's you know you or to the person who's speaking, right? Presenter. Yeah, see, so, you know, it does change from slide to slide, right? The, the notes. This slide is about HR, and then see so if you do go on the presentation Im immediately. So you don't. 
where does he see it if he's presenting? Where, where well, he would see here, no notes. If there are no notes, it says no notes. But if there are notes, then you see them. Oh, okay. Okay. See, this is a slide. We had a note here. This is a slide about HR. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that's the notes. Yeah, that